My name is Tim Grieve. I'm the WASH Senior Advisor working at UNICEF and also the Chair of the WASH Working Group. So what is the cholera state of play? The total global burden of cholera remains unacceptably high, with an estimated 2.9 million cases and 95,000 deaths per year worldwide, as reported in 2015. In 2018, over 420 million persons are estimated to live in a cholera hotspot, geographically limited areas regularly and frequently affected by cholera. Last year was one of the worst years for cholera outbreaks globally, with 1 million cases reported in Yemen and 175,000 cases reported across Africa. The great majority of investment in cholera control was on outbreak response. Of the 47 GTFCC focused countries, 43% have ongoing internal humanitarian crises and appeals. This represents 45% of the estimated cases and deaths. Yet, in most cases, we know that cholera outbreaks are predictable, disproportionately affecting the most underprivileged. To eliminate and control cholera requires investment in both prevention and preparedness, actions to bridge the humanitarian development nexus. While the core of cholera control and elimination is multi-sectoral initiatives involving case management, surveillance, laboratory, OCV and WASH, cholera cannot be achieved without sustainable investments in WASH, period. WASH investment is essential. In fact, according to the cholera investment case, the WASH sector represents more than 85% of the total investment required to eliminate cholera. And yet, the WASH investment pitch, pitch is equity-based, cost-effective, and provides multiple benefits that go beyond the elimination of cholera. Simply put, by prioritizing WASH SDG investment into cholera hotspots, we can end this disease that plagues the most disadvantaged, saving lives as well as providing multiple benefits spanning health, especially diarrheal disease, uh, as well as socioeconomic uh, and other environmental benefits. Furthermore, this is a cost-effective investment. According to modelling efforts recently completed by the GTFCC, representing less than 3% of the approximate 114 billion US dollars per year in WASH capital investments needed to achieve SDG 6 by 2030 and demonstrating an overall return of 10 US dollars for each one US dollar spent. With an estimated 2 million people saved through the delivery of multi sectoral initiatives specifically aimed at cholera control and elimination over the period of 2018 to 2030. So the, what are the WASH Working Group meeting objectives? Why are we here today? It is part of the GTFCC strategy and the roadmap to ensure that cholera remains a relevant topic on the global agenda. This includes some important achievements to date, most notably, the development and launch of the End Cholera 2030 Roadmap in October 2017, and its endorsement at the World Health Assembly in May 2018. As mentioned earlier, the cholera investment case has been developed in 2018, providing an invaluable tool uh, to be used for advocacy and financing efforts to increase WASH investment in cholera hotspots. To further support all of this, UNICEF has been the chair and coordinator of the WASH Working Group uh, as the chair since 2017, providing technical and strategic leadership to the membership of, almost, of more than 70 partners, spanning humanitarian and development uh, and, and uh, multi-sectoral uh, partnerships. However, all of this, specifically the implementation of the roadmap, goes well beyond the capacity of any partner or sector. As a result, this forum provides us with the opportunity to strengthen our resolve to actively engage in 
joint and strategic efforts to tackle the disease of inequity and increase our, our support efforts in countries to go beyond business as usual. How can we, as the WASH Working Group and the GTFCC, provide support to countries and their national cholera plans is the core theme to this year's meeting. The national cholera plans play a central role to the roadmap implementation by targeting cholera hotspots, identifying multi-sectoral cholera activities and a means to mobilise resources needed to implement these actions. The, cholera, uh, the national cholera plans also set the stage for accountability to populations by national and global stakeholders. The focus is on prevention of cholera outbreaks and preparedness for future outbreaks. During the, the coming days, this meeting presents us with the opportunity to critically discuss challenges and opportunities and build consensus around prioritised concrete steps by the GTFCC and the WASH Working Group to support countries and their national cholera plans. This includes an update of the GTFCC and WASH Working Group's work and achievements in 2018, particularly on cholera case investment, cholera investment case, the cholera elimination framework for the national cholera plans, and the WASH package to support the WASH pillar of the framework. It is a pleasure to have representatives from seven countries uh, who will present on the status of the no national cholera plans, highlighting their specific cholera-related work, WASH work at the national level. We would like to extend a warm welcome to country representatives from DRC, from Haiti, Malawi, Nigeria, Zambia, Zimbabwe and Yemen. Implementing partners will give insights into their in-country WASH efforts to support cholera, uh, national cholera plans, along with overall cholera control and elimination efforts. Representatives from the donor and the governmental agencies will present their interests and support to national cholera plans, leading us into discussions about required advocacy, investment and financing strategies. There is agreement on a need to strengthen evidence so that we can more efficiently and effectively target WASH interventions in prevention, preparedness and response. We have several colleagues from the academic world um, present who we look forward to focus discussions um, with their leadership. We also look forward to the sharing and collaboration brought to us um, in this meeting by other coordination platforms contributing, contributing to WASH efforts, including the Global WASH uh, Cluster, the Sanitation and Water for All, and the Regional Cholera Platforms. The sessions are designed to be particip participatory, so the chairs of each session will be strictly ensuring that the presentations are on point and that there is ample time for discussion. Our special thanks go to Foundation Marie, who not only hosts us in this amazing location, but has kindly made a larger room available to us and additional rooms for side meetings. That is particularly appreciated as it has allowed us to accept additional participants and complimentary discussions to take place. A big thanks to Monica Ramos, uh, to her remarkable leadership in the coordination of the WASH Working Group, uh, and to the GTFCC Secretariat, Dominique, Lorenzo and Kate, uh, for all their tireless work that has gone into the preparation of this event. And a big thanks to all the participants of the workshop who have come from near and far to participate. This is one of the biggest groups we have had with many new faces, representing a healthy mix of implementing partners, research institutions, public-private partnerships, and the donor community uh, across the Humanitarian Development Nexus or Spectrum um, partners. We hope that this will be a dynamic meeting full of interesting discussions, and we look forward to your active participation so that we can move forward the global agenda on cholera control and elimination by 2030.